Creating slides. How to format slides? How do we add presenter notes? How to use the features of the slideshow tool? What sort of content should be included in slides? Create a new set of slides. Add presenter comments. Slides are a great way to introduce an audience to your subject. They're best to use for a quick overview, not a detailed look at the subject. Lots of images can be a good choice to communicate information and avoid slides full of text when possible as learners can get bored or distracted. If your slides are attached to a tutorial, then they can be a good place to provide learners with motivation for the tutorial. If you can provide examples that are relevant to your audience, this will encourage them to follow the tutorial. Try to avoid dry text and links to external resources whenever possible. Those can be best in the tutorial which a learner would read at their own pace, rather than slides which are presented at the presenter's pace. Slides are written with standard markdown, and begin with a header, and end with three dashes. Lists, links, and images are all written with their normal syntax. If you're familiar with markdown and already writing your tutorial in it, this should be an easy addition. The only differences are the dashes to separate slides, and speaker notes which we'll cover later. Everything can be aligned using several CSS classes which are provided, left, right, and center. The classes are added with a dot followed by the class, and then the contents within square brackets. Incremental text can be added, and appears incrementally on every slide. You can accomplish this with two dashes instead of three for incremental slides. The dashes should be on their own line, just like the slide separating dashes. There are a number of CSS classes available to use for styling the content you show on your slides. Here you can see images scaled to 10% and 50%. There are a number of other classes that you can find in the GTN's code base. Tables can be written in the simplified markdown syntax, or using a more complex one that allows for alignment. Here a simple table is shown with several columns. The tables do not need to be aligned, we just did that in this slide for clarity. If you need more complex tables, you can use the colon character to control the alignment. If you are presenting numeric data or similar then this can be useful to make the data more readable. Footnotes can be used for explanatory notes or adding things like references. References are ideal footnote content as they are not necessarily important for comprehension of the slides, but might be useful later for learners. Two column layouts can easily be achieved with the pull left and pull right classes. The result of this is demonstrated on the next slide. Any content can be placed in the left and right columns. The addition of these classes will wrap all of their contents and place them on the left or right sides. The two-column layout is an especially good choice if you want to show a graphic and discuss some important points related to it. Presenter mode lets you have two windows with the same slides, one with presenter notes and a preview of the upcoming slide. When giving presentations with multiple screens or on a projector, this makes life less stressful. You can use the presenter notes to remind you, and others, of important content to mention on each slide. Things written below the are only shown in the presenter view. Press P to bring this up. Things written below the three question marks are only shown in the presenter view. Press P to bring this up, and the question mark to show the presenter view shortcut keys. The key to close the help isn't shown in the keyboard shortcuts, but it is the escape key. There are a number of other shortcuts which can be useful to know about. The clone window function creates a pop-up with a copy of the slides, this can be used to show the presenter notes on one screen, and the actual slides on another screen that learners can see. The GTN automatically creates videos from selected slide decks, simply by setting video to true to the metadata, slides with sufficiently good speaker notes can be automatically turned into videos. The slides have audio narration spoken from the script of the speaker notes by AWS Poly. The audio clips, and slides are combined into a video which is then available in the GTN video library. Slides are often presented before the hands-on portion, provide relevant background information, provide examples that are relevant to your audience. Thank you for watching.